Hello and welcome to my channel. Check this out, it's a Mac Tech by Makita. This one's not going. It's model number MT064. First thing I'm going to do is check the batteries to see if the voltage is okay. 15.77. That's very, very impressive for a 14.4 battery. There's nothing wrong with that. Battery number two is a little bit lower at 14.06, but still quite impressive. So there's nothing wrong with those two batteries. I'm going to kind of assume that the charge is okay as well. So this unit is the problem. The problem's on here, so I have to get this open. Right, with the lid off, you can see it's just a basic battery connector. This basic switch connects up to a little sealed DC brushed motor. With that in mind, the only things that could be wrong is bad motor, bad switch, or bad connection. The connections can look okay. Yeah, can look okay there. So, what I'm going to do is disconnect the motor, connect it to a battery, see if the motor's going. That would rule out the motor, and then it would have to be the switch, would be the problem. Right, with the switch disconnected, you want to connect the battery. That's a positive terminal there. So connect the red to that. So that tells me the motor's good. So it has to be the switch is the problem. I had an inkling that the switch was the problem, so I ordered this new one from Terrier Tools. And Rexham, that's them if you want to get in touch with them. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but i just like to give them a shout out because they're very good for these hard to get parts, especially for Makita and MacTech and these kind of things. So all I have to do is put that in and solder it into place and we're good to go. So if that switch set in now, I'll have to connect it, but make sure when you've done the battery connector, it's the right way around. The black wire has to be to the top. And the way I've removed that, I can, I can probably use the existing wires. So I've soldered in the new switch now. The wire's tucked in. Make sure and do that. All I have to do is close it up and give it a go. Here we are. Drill all back together. Battery in. Time for the test. And it works. So if you liked this video, found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and I'd like to see you in the comment section if you can.